Hello, today we're gonna build a house in The Sims 4, but the challenge is that each room is a different townie. So, let's go. I'm in my little spin spinny wheel and I have the names of the townies in The Sims. I did not put every single townie in The Sims because there's like a bajillion townies in The Sims, okay? So instead, I put in The Sims that I know the best. You know, I have a little parasocial relationship with. I put those in and there's, there's a good chunk. There is. So I think the only thing we gotta do is to start and we're gonna start with the exterior and the front garden of the house. So let's spin for that. One, two, three, go. Oh, Mortimer Goth. Mortimer freaking Goth. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get Bella Goth, but at least I got Mortimer Goth. <laughs> so let's see. We need to make a little mood board of little Mortimer Goth. Because I do really feel like that's important, you know? Yeah. So the first thing about him, we know that he likes black and he likes red. Look at his suit. I mean, come on. And he's a bookworm. He's outgoing. He's creative. He's a quick learner. And he is a renaissance him. Okay. Oh, Mort is French for death. Mortimer's name seems fitting because of the girls seem to be somewhat obsessed with death. Oh, put that to our little mood board, obsessed with death. And there's no surprise that Mortimer Goth likes the goth aesthetic. I mean, come on. Come on. All right, so I do think it's fitting that we make him a goth house. It, it just has to be. It just has to be. So um, let's try our best with that. <laughs> I do this and like this and something like that. Maybe, just maybe, something like that. I can just lift this up a tiny bit. Whoa, thank you. And then I can get a little porch. Love me some porches. Maybe the porch can wrap around a little bit. Would that make sense? We shan't see. This is a mystery, you know? The the mystomer of the mystomer, <laughs> the mystomer of Mortimer Goth. Where does the porch end? Where does it begin? Who knows? I'm gonna do the roof in the end because I feel like I have more brain power than I feel like I have no brain power now. But something gothic. It's kind of kind of annoying that the style panel do not have anything gothic. Why not? I want to know. Not that it would be helping in any way, but uh, it would be nice. Ooh, I feel like we should get something with more texture. Oh, because I do feel like this house should be a little worn down. You know. We can, we can try that one. We can, we can try. Let's see. Do we have a goth door to match with these? Oh. Ooh, spooky. Well, this is not a spooky house. This is a goth house. And I, hmm. Yeah. This is starting to look gothic. By the way, I'm sorry if this isn't gothic and you're like, Nora, what the heck? I am not an expert. I'm just here to try, all right? I'm just here to try. The lighting on this lab is really bad. So I think I'm going to rotate the house and then maybe I'll rotate it around again afterwards. Because <laughs> I, I think it's important that we see what is happening with the paint and stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna make a little balcony up here, like so. Maybe stretch it out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna come back to that. I think I'm gonna do the roof now. Maybe I'd have enough brain power for this now. We shall see. I'm itching my head in suspense and nervous attitude. Okay. I mean, what if I do one of these types of roofs? Oh, interesting. What the heck do I do now? What would I do on the ends? I know that I've done this before, but I literally cannot remember because I am always in the panic state and I do not remember when I'm in panic states. Oh no. Get in. It's just a teeny bit up. That's something. Uh, oh, oh, the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. I know that I have this little thingy thingy trying to be an octagon up in there, but I think if I just do this and I get a wall. No, I do not. I get a half wall. Just bear with me. No, <laughs> not gonna do that. What if I get a platform? Can I hide this mess then? Oh no. That's a no from me. But you know what? I'm gonna find something that fits there. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Me, I am um, uh, <laughs> what have I done now? <laughs> Maybe some roof trims. Roof trims are gonna save this thing. Oh, that is annoying. That is really annoying. It doesn't match. Okay, what if this is like a porch and then I have a little roof here? I mean, that is uh, <laughs> something. I mean, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. I don't know where we're going. We are going somewhere. Okay, what if I just do this? Feel like that's worse somehow. I do wish we could paint the inside of roofs because this is kind of ruining the moment. That's moment a little bit. A lot, actually. But you know, just gotta deal with it. Let's get some spandrels in. Maybe that will do something for us. Okay, now I have to take this porch all the way to the back. All the way to the back. Can I have this here? Ooh, 
Oh. <laughs> Can I have this little gargoyle too? <laughs> Can I have the gargoyle here? Just to hide everything up? I mean, that's something. But no. Okay. We're gonna do the windows, which is my favorite thing. Are you kidding me? Oh, right, right, right. Why can't I have like a double window? That's the same size as the smaller window. I don't want these. I want that. Can I size it down? No, that I cannot. We have this little bee one. Okay, which one is more modern, though? The fox, the bee, or the butterfly? Why is none of them red? Why are they so scared of red? Do you think that Mortimer is a silver guy or a gold guy? Let's put up Mortimer again. Well, this is Sims 4 Mortimer now and he's wearing like a silver vibe. But this is the Sims 4 Mortimer before the refresh. And there is a gold moment there. Oh no. Yeah, I feel like goths are more silver, you know, but not about that gold. So I'm just gonna go off of that. Oh, we have these. I don't even know what that is, but I like it. Okay, we can have some red roses for little Mortimer. Yeah, all right, let's do the garden. And first of all, we have to rotate the house. Bada bing, bada bing. I have rotated it. Let's start off with decorating the garden. Okay, we need a little pathway. What is a good, nice pathway? Mm, maybe this? I mean, that is the darkest of them all, so <laughs> I think so. We could do something. Yeah. First of all, I need a fence. I need a fence. A uh, nice old fence. Do you think Mortimer is more of a short fence guy or a long fence guy? Mm. Or is he a hedge guy? I think he is a short fence guy. But hear me out. He's a short fence guy with spikes on them because he's open-minded but he also got some secrets or no he needs a bigger fence he's kind of an open guy but he still has secrets yes that is mortimer okay so the stairs are here glad we figured that out the stairs are there <laughs> and the gate is here now we gotta connect them i gotta learn how to do pathways correct because this is not good but i do feel like it's realistic because you would walk like that but the side path is this not like boop 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 you know yeah let's do the garden first of all the most important part we need some what is that well, that I kind of look like a little dancing person in the picture. I was confused. The most important part for this yard is gravestones because he is obsessed with that. We know this from our mood board. We know this. Also, wasn't there something about Mortimer Goth and a telescope? Or is that just in my mind? I have to check this out. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's a little telescope. That's Mortimer Goth from Sims 2. I'm gonna put that on my mood board. Yes, gravestones. That is important. There we go. And we can have a telescope just right there. And then we can have a little bench here. Just for some, I don't know, reading. Who knows? Who knows what Mortimer is up to? All right. I am done with the exterior and the front garden of the house. I really did try my best with this. It, it got the Mortimer goth vibes, I feel like. But is it a goth house? I don't know. Who knows? You tell me in the comments. <laughs> now, oh. Yeah, I need to do the layout of this house first. I'll be back. I am back. I did a quick layout. It's not perfect at all. So downstairs, we have a hallway, bathroom, living room, kitchen, office, and another hallway. And upstairs, we have a hallway, bathroom, a master bedroom, and another bedroom. This house has a lot of hallways, but um, that's how it goes. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna start off with the entry hallway, shall we? We shall. Ooh, Katrina Caliente. So, Katrina Caliente, she's jealous, family-oriented, romantic, alluring, and soulmate aspiration. She likes comedy, fitness, piano, orange, and yellow. Mm. <laughs> yes. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of Katrina Caliente, you know? Let's get a nice carpet in here as well. Mm. Let's wait with that. Ooh, we can have that little moment <gasps> and she need a little diary book set so she can write all her little jealous secrets and one of these no matter who you are you need somewhere to put your clothes <laughs> look there's Don Lothario's jacket right that was the hallway I am now gonna move on to the living room one two three go Lou Howell are you kidding me if you don't know Lou Howell is the chaotic father and husband in my legacy challenge videos and he's a menace he's a real menace and I needed to take a break from the legacy challenge just because of him. Okay, so Lou Howell, here he is. He's a kleptomaniac. We all know that. Romantic, art lover, lunar confident, and a werewolf initiate. Initiate. Okay, so Lou likes black, and he likes pink, and he dislikes painting, but he is an art lover. Okay. I mean, first of all, Lou likes black, so maybe we can get a little black moment. Just like that. <laughs> There's some scruffed up flooring. Then, of course, we need the most chaotic curtains of all. This one. And, of course, we need this couch. I mean, this couch is iconic. <laughs> but where are we gonna put that yeah something like that but then we have to change the layout hold on maybe something like that oh no my curtains where do they go there then we need a little tv i'm gonna get this for lou <laughs> can't afford any better than that i can put the bookshelf in here that's kind of cool and then a nice scruffed up carpet you know lou is an 
art lover, but he doesn't like painting, so maybe he likes spray painting, hence this thing. <laughs> when I also feel like Louis is the type of person who would have a dartboard inside, just right in the living room, right between the passageways where people are going to the kitchen, to the office, you know, that's where he has his dartboard. And I'm also going to put in a little dart so we can see that he's not the best dart player in the world. I have decided that this little hallway is going to be a part of the living room. Okay, I am now done with the living room. It's very Lou inspired, I must say. It's very Lou inspired. He would get up to some thingy things up in here. All right, so let's move on to the kitchen, shall we? We shall. Don Lothario. Don freaking Lothario. Right. This is him in his current form. And originally, he looked like that. He has a personality. He's self-assured, non-committal, romantic, alluring, and a serial romantic. Okay, so Don likes blue and red. And he likes fitness, mixology, and video gaming. And he dislikes rocket science and programming. <laughs> All right. Donny Don Don. I already know what I'm going to do. This. If there's one person, one person who chooses big red tiles, which is also named Pretty in Plastic, it's Don Lothario. And you know, Don would also have a matching red kitchen. He really would. So, yikes. And of course, Don would have one of these fridges. You know, no food, no leftovers, nothing, just beverages. All right, we all know that Don doesn't cook, right? He doesn't. And I'm gonna give him a little peninsula kitchen because we all know that Don doesn't have a dining table. He does not eat his meals at a frick frack dining table, okay? And he would also have these annoying chairs. Oh, there you go. And again, Don really doesn't care about anybody's feelings because he put up some cabinets right where somebody's supposed to be sitting. He just doesn't care about anybody's feelings. Right, I am done. I'm done. I, I am done. Oh, no, <laughs> please no. I am done with the kitchen. It's very done like What more can you say about this? Not much more. We shall move on to the bathroom. Yes. Brand hacking. Brand, brand, brand. So if you don't know, this is Brand hacking. He's not really one of the most popular townies ever, but I, he is a nice guy and he is married to Brand hacking, by the way. And he has a cute little dog that's named Rosie and he's an art lover. He loves the outdoors. He's good and he is a curator. Ooh. So let's make a nice little bathroom for a Branty Brand. I feel like he's a kind of a stylish guy, but not in a modern-ish type of way. I feel like he's more of a little bit traditional way. Oh, he's a guy that would love some bathtubs. I feel like he would. Oh, this is not the bathroom. This is a hallway. That's the bathroom. Whoops. <laughs> Don't mind me. I do also feel like he's a type of person that would have the bathroom separate from everything else. Yeah. Then we can get a little his and his sink, you know? Mm -hmm. A little bath mat. And yes, now the bathroom is done. It's a little, little nice little bathroom for Brandt. For Brandt. Brandt. Let's move on. And now we're gonna move on to the office. One, two, three. Generate. Victor Fang. Okay. So this is Victor Fang. He's a representative. And he's married to Lily Fang. And he lives in San Maishuno. He's very rich. He's materialistic, a perfectionist, a genius, and he's business savvy. So he's a very wealthy, kind of scary guy who lives in the penthouse. So we're gonna make a sweet penthouse house moves up in here. I'm giving him a marble flooring. Yes. The walls, I, I think just a plain white. He seems like that type of guy. It's kind of fitting that he got the office, by the way, because he's such a business guy, you know? Ooh, he's a person that would have the desk this way. Yes. And then a nice, uncomfortable chair. This one. That's Victor. Ooh. And I also feel like he's the type of guy that would have blinds instead of curtains. But, but, but nice blinds. Oh my god, he should have this stock exchange thingy thingy. Oh, I can't size it down. Well, that's perfect. But we can have it here. Ta -ta. Ooh. And he would have this briefcase that he would. Yes. And some funky little statues, you know, and some more mysterious things. We don't know how they got there, but they got there. And some more funky wall art. Yes. And a golden bowl of fruit. Oh my gosh, yes. All right. That was the office. It was a suspicious fang office, I must say. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the upstairs, shall we? We shall. So let's spin that wheel. Ooh. Eliza Pancakes. Eliza Pancakes. I mean, where do you even begin with Eliza Pancakes. First of all, she's unemployed. She's married to Bob Pancakes and they have a potential child named Iggy. Interesting. She's also materialistic, neat, perfectionist, and she has Aspiration Mansion Baron. Ooh. So we're of course gonna give Eliza her dream bedroom. Her materialistic bedroom. Ooh. That's materialistic. I do wish they had this in a bigger version. I do, I do, I do wish. This, this is so nice. But whatever. I also wish they had one bed with a nice green swatch that isn't this one. Because I don't feel like Eliza Pancake is a dark vibes person. You know? But maybe a little blue. Maybe a little blue. Oh, what is happening here? Hmm, that's looking weird. Would Eliza approve of that? I don't think so. And then I gotta get some curtains to hide up the dark 
dark windows. I do kind of like these curtains. I size them down a little bit and then I use my tool mod. Would that work? Yeah, maybe a little bit down. Just remember, Liza is a perfectionist, so I have to be to the sad, sad world. They don't go all the way down to the, the, the window, but, but I also want to go to sleep this night. So, you know, what can you do? Oh, shoot. What am I going to do in the middle? Hmm. I don't have the kit that comes with the curtain rod. I do not. Can I find something in debug? Please tell me that I can. Oh, that's a huge fence. Hmm. I do that. And I elevate it. One. It went into space. And then I rotate it 90 degrees. <laughs> it disappeared. What if I have this? I mean, it, could you want more out of life, you know? Could you? I hope you can get more out of life than that. As I don't know. What if I take this one and rotate it 90 degrees? No, that's not going to work. Okay. Well, I tried everything I could. So that it is. Right. Back to this. Of course, Eliza would have some matching bedside tables. Are they matching? Yeah, they are matching. Oh, the flooring. I forgot the flooring. I'm sorry. I mean, I kind of like that flooring. Or this one. I do kind of like that. I never used this flooring before, like in this color. But I kind of like it. Or have I gone colorblind? That could also be a possibility. Who knows? Right on. Carpets. I mean, of course. Hello. Eliza would have a white carpet. She would. Because a white carpet is a nightmare. Just like Eliza. You know what? I'm going to size down the nightstands a little bit because they're they're big. Like if you were lying in bed, you would have to reach your arm so far up just to turn the light up, you know? So I have to size them down a little bit. There we go. And on each nightstand, it's just one light and no other clutter because she's a perfectionist. All right, nothing else. Ooh, and then she can have one of those Ottomans, Ottomans at the end of her bed because I feel like really fancy people have those. There we go. And just for some realism, I'm going to put some towels here and I am going to pretend that's a blanket and I'm going to get a pillow and I'm going to rotate it because we all know that Bob and Eliza do not sleep in the same bed. Bed, and Bob has to sleep on that. I'm just being realistic here. Just being realistic here. And right by the windows, we're gonna have a little sitting area. A little sitting nook. And I'm gonna get these ones. And then a nice dresser. I do feel like Eliza would hang her clothes up so they wouldn't get as wrinkly, you know? Maybe something like that. She can also get a normal dresser. She needs both. Eliza needs both. And then Eliza really does need a desk. She has a lot of spare time, okay? She's unemployed. She has a lot of non-important things to do. And since she is materialistic, I'm gonna give her the most expensive computer should we have Bob? No, Bob has no place in this room. And I'm also gonna add a little mirror. Oh, that's a big mirror. I do feel like Eliza loves herself. Oh, could I get that instead? Can you put a computer? You cannot. Interesting. What if I size the table down? <laughs> I need something to hide that up with, right? I've hidden it well. I've <laughs> hidden it well. You know, she can she can rest her little feet on that. I'm moving on now. No, wait, I'm gonna give her this little lamp. And now I'm moving on. Right. So that was the master bedroom of Eliza Pancakes and maybe Bob. We shall see. We shall see if Bob shall stay. All right, let's move on. And we are, of course, going to move on to the hallway. Shall we? We shall. Lilith Pleasant. Okay, so this is Lilith Pleasant. She has a degree in villainy and she's unemployed. So her degree was very much useful. And she's a loner, kleptomaniac. She's also a slob. And her aspiration is public enemy. Right. Oh, and she's also really into the paranormal. Mm. And crime. And culture. Wow, she's a cultured queen. So let's give Lilith her nice old hallway. First... I think I'm going to give Lilith a little brick moment. I feel like she's a brick girly. Who feels so? She's like a kind of a little rocker type. And you can probably tell by everything about me that I am not a little rocker type because I just said little rocker type. Yeah. Oh, that matches kinda. Oh, that matches more. Right. Why do I kind of like that desk? I do kind of like it. And I don't know why. I'm gonna get an old computer like that. That's all she can afford right now. Ooh. We should get this. I don't know why, but I feel like she's into this. You can also get some beanbag chairs in random colors like that. She, she liked the paranormal and some mystery stuff, so I'm gonna give her a little werewolf book. And she's also gonna get Mischief, volume three. She's just been reading a little bit. And she's also a slob, so I'm gonna make a mess just right in front of Eliza's room. So I feel like she would just do that out of spite. She would. And of course, we need a little baseball bat and something she stole. Where can we put that? Right in front of Eliza's room, just to spite her. Just to spite her. Okay, I'm now done with the hallway. It's a mess, but it is a little rocker mess. You know, no, no one is there 
denying that. No one is denying the rocker mess. So we're gonna move on. <laughs> we're gonna move on to the second bedroom. Let's go. Generate Michael Bell, aka the creature keeper. Now, I know that Michael Bell is an NPC, not a townie, but is there really a difference in the end? So Michael Bell, if you don't know, he lives in Hanford on Bagley. He lives in the Bramblewood in his little cottage. And apparently he had a very awkward date with Cecilia Kang. I did not need to know that. I feel like my life was better without that information, you know. So yeah, he is the keeper of the creatures and his personality is that he loves the outdoors. He's a loner, animal enthusiast, and he's a country caretaker. He has skills in herbalism, gardening, fishing, cooking, knitting, a little bit of painting and writing. So yeah, let's make him a little woodsy bedroom, shall we? We shall. I do kind of feel like he would have this type of bed. Would he have a single bed? No, we can't because it doesn't exist. But what we can do, we can put it into the wall. Not into the wall, but push it to the wall. But I like the red one, but the wood doesn't match with the other wood types. Oh no. But that would be his personality, right? He wouldn't really care about that stuff, you know? So maybe that's okay. He would definitely have a desk so he can write all his little thoughts in. <gasps> that is cute. And I'm also going to be really nice and I'm going to give him a little typewriter. There you go. He also loves animals. So I'm going to pretend that he has a dog. Is that a little tree stump? I think it is. I think for the first time ever, I'm going to use my first pet stuff pack. I do not endorse it. But he was free when I got it, so I guess it's okay. Then some nice pictures of animals on the wall. We can't forget about that. And some other pictures. And some more decorations. And now I'm finally done with the bedroom from Michael Bell. And now we shall move on to the last room, the bathroom. Generate Thorn Bailey. Now Thorn Bailey, <laughs> he's a celebrity. He's from Del Sol Valley. And his personality is self-assured, active, music lover, dastardly. And his aspiration is musical genius. There he is. Beautiful Thorn Bailey. All right, first off, we of course have to get the marble flooring. This wouldn't be a Thorn Bailey bathroom without it, you know? Yeah. I mean, of course, I have to get the expensive ass toilet. Just solid gold for Thorn Bailey. Then a nice jacuzzi up in there. And I think I am going for this sink, actually. Actually? And if I wouldn't have such a small ass bathroom, I would have made it a lot better. Because this is a tight squeeze. But yeah, I'm gonna go for this sink and not this one. Because I feel like he's more of a modern type and not whatever this is. The royal family vibe. But I do feel like he would have this toilet. Just to save myself a little bit. All right, let's get him a shower as well. You know, he's a busy man. He gotta make them... Uh, um, whatever you do. Music producer, I think? I mean, that is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I think he can manage that. Thorn Bailey can manage anything. You know what? On another thought, I think that might be a tight squeeze for Thorn Bailey. I mean, he do have a limit too. He's only human, you know? He's only human. Maybe I can get him that one. Yeah. And then a huge mirror because he does like to look at himself. He really does. Or maybe, maybe just this. Maybe he's gotten tired of himself over the years. Maybe that's why. Oh, I can't forget about toilet paper. There we go. We do need some fancy towels though. That we need. Ooh, we can't have a little hmm what can he have what can thorn bailey have he can have a little <laughs> table like that and he can now have his little spa items on that hope you're happy with that mr thorn bailey all right that was thorn bailey's bathroom it has some nice vibes if i do say so myself we're gonna move on to the backyard the last and final moment so let's do that christopher walker should we have two werewolves in this build did i spin again or is that cheating no no oh yeah they're a bit different blue Havel and christopher walker they're two different people well hopefully they are two different people otherwise i would have been concerned but they have two different personalities two different vibes christopher is more nature like more loving That's, yeah okay i'm gonna go for that yes so this is christopher la 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 all right so his traits are perfectionist genius family oriented domestic and his aspiration is successful lineage and of course he's a werewolf and he lives in moonwood mill what's his job he's a freelance programmer i did not know that that surprised me a little bit actually <laughs> okay he likes gardening likes handiness and wellness that's perfect for a garden. He dislikes the color purple. That was very random. All right, first of all, I need some stairs because I forgot to put that in. But I feel like I need to go with the werewolf vibe. And then I didn't. First of all, I'm going to build a fence. Yes. Oh, this is going to take a long time. But I think it's worth it. Now, that's what I call a broken down fence. I mean, these aren't even connected. Something definitely happened there. So right here, I feel like we should have a little garden. Like so. Oh, we can make a little pond. Not a fountain. Not another fountain. But a pond. Okay. How do I make a pond? Oh, this is scary. I, I don't think I've done this much. Lower terrain. Okay. And then fill. I mean, that looks like something. Happy with that. I'm gonna make it a little dirty though. Maybe a frog? No, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, that's looking nice. I like that. And I'm gonna get my trash can in actually. Just a werewolf one right there. Oh, and a little grill. A little grill grill. And then over here, I'm gonna have a little sitting area. Bobbity bobbity boom. And some more little decorations. And then some more bushes over here. And some more 
more little bushes and a little pathway some vines yeah there are some vines and bobbity bobbity boom i am now done with the backyard i love it i actually love it i want to live there myself Mwah. so yeah that was the great old towny house i used so much time on this oh my gosh i'm not even gonna say how much time i used on this but i used some time yeah and if you for some reason want to download this house i don't know why you would but if you want to it's up on my gallery my gallery id is just nora gaming it's also in my description if you want to know more yes so yes that was the house and i'm done with this video and i'm gonna take a nap okay i hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoyed this video it was so creatively good for me i loved it all right don't forget to like subscribe because it does really help me out so thank you but only if you want to only if you want to and uh i'll see you next time goodbye